What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jaden Michael, and today I'm going to show y'all how to connect your AirPods to your PS4. So, first thing you're going to need is your cellular device. could be any device that supports remote play. So, you're going to need to go download this app, PS4 Re Remote Play, and then once you do that, I already have it downloaded, so it's not going to tell me to do this, but if it's your first time downloading, you're going to have to go to your settings, you're going to have to go to remote play connection settings. And then you're going to have to enable remote play and then add device. And then once you do that, it'll give you um, uh, like a, some numbers to put into your, your thing. So you're going to have to put that in to pair it and all that stuff. But first thing you need to do is pair your remote control your PS4 controller to your cellular device. So let's do that. So I'm gonna have to flip the camera. Oh, yeah. So let's do that. And I can't flip the camera, so this is gonna be, just work with me. So you're gonna need to press the share button and the home button at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. You're going to press and hold. This is so hard. Until it starts blinking. That's when you go into your cellular device. You go to your settings. You go to your Bluetooth. My Bluetooth is already on. And then... Let me just focus that up. Do you have it? Dual Shock 4 wireless controller. Just click on that and it's connected. So once it's connected, it'll turn to this like peach color. It's really cool. Um, so there you have that. Also, you might want to connect your AirPods as well. So you just open them up. And then it'll pop up. And then they're connected. So they are connected. You're gonna go back to the dual or to the remote play. You're gonna push start. And you're gonna make sure that your phone and your PS4 is on the same network. And then boom. So you could play directly from your app. So this is directly from the app or you can still use your remote and it works from there so let me pop in my airpods so they are still connected as you can see everything 100 percent case is going down little by little so let me grab my airpods Pop them in. I heard a chime, so they are definitely working, and I can hear the PlayStation playing. So, yeah, man, and so you can, everything is, you can straight from the phone, the options, remove a disc straight from the phone. Like, this thing is really cool, and also if you turn it sideways, they kind of, you know, fade in. So it's pretty cool. I it's really hard to play like, you know, Call of Duty on the phone. These by the way disappear until you like touch it again. So it's kind of you have, you know, your joystick, you know, your uh not your joystick, but your, you know, your shooting trigger buttons on top right here. So it's kind of hard playing Call of Duty from the app. I haven't tried basketball yet. I'm going to try it. Maybe that'll be another video. But I completely have full audio in my headphones, so in order to use your microphone, microphone, <laughs> either playing if you're playing 2K on the park or if you're playing uh, Call of Duty. Oh, and there's your your keypad right there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but if you're playing Call of Duty and you want to use your mic, or if you're playing on the park, at the park, and you want to use, you know. The mic for, you know, talking trash to the haters. 
just click this button right here, the settings button, and then microphone pops up, and it's going to be off. It's off automatically. There's nothing you can do about it. It's automatically off. So you just click that on, and everything will get a little bit louder in your headphones, like a lot louder. So your mic is on. You turn that off. And everything goes like a little bit dimmer. So the only thing I don't like about that is when you turn your mic on, everything's hella loud and all that stuff. So you can always show controller, so keep that on so it's always on the screen. Or you can do what I do and just have that off and it'll pop up if you touch the screen. And then it'll go away. Lock orientation, of course, you can have it locked to being uh, in landscape mode. Or portrait mode. And just have it locked. Or, you know don't have it locked and you can just automatically change from landscape to portrait so yeah man this was the connecting your apple airpods and these are real apple airpods i promise to your ps4 man but yeah man if you guys want to link up with me this is my information right here come link up we could play together i love playing um love 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 playing Call of Duty, but I will play the park if y'all want me to. I don't really fuck with the park, but I will if y'all y'all trying to link up. But I'm mainly a, a COD player. I'm COD kind of dude. Sounds really gross. But, man, this was my AirPod connection to the PS4. Don't worry about the second half if I'm too lazy to edit this out. Don't worry about the second half. Just stop <laughs> at some point. But, yes, the first part... It does work. Download the Remote Play app. Get your AirPods. Connect it. It's very easy. It all just connects to your phone. Everything just connects to your phone. That's the most easiest part about it. So, yeah, follow my steps. And I hope you guys enjoy your AirPods while playing on your PS4. Peace.